the island of Maui. Here, atop a dramatic 10,000-foot summit, stands the Haleakala Observatory. On October 19, 2017, astronomers detect a mysterious object traveling through our solar system. It is unlike anything that has been seen before. I was in charge of coordinating the observing to characterize the object. There were four images taken that showed an object moving rapidly with respect to the stars. The stars are individual dots of light, and this object was a streak, so they knew it was moving fast. But at that point, they started to compute an orbit to try and understand what this object was. Everything in the solar system is either on a circular or an elliptical orbit. But once more data came in, it was very clear that the orbit was hyperbolic, meaning something coming from outside the solar system. We have never seen an object on an orbit like this ever before. And it's an irregularly shaped object that's about 800 meters or half a kilometer in length. This was really exciting. The landmark discovery is the first time an object is officially recognized as interstellar. To signify the importance of the finding, the astronomers give it a fitting name. In honor of this object being discovered by a telescope in Hawaii, the team came up with the name Oumuamua, which means voyager from the distant past reaching out to us. Astronomers were not only mystified by where Oumuamua came from, but also by its strange oblong shape, which was like no asteroid ever detected. The interstellar object moved steadily through the solar system. And astronomers were taken by surprise once again when after passing by the sun, it appeared to accelerate. The Muamua was moving rapidly away from the sun. When it made its closest pass to the sun, uh, inside the orbit of Mercury, it was moving very fast, a little more than 195,000 miles per hour. So this is moving rapidly out of the solar system. To Harvard astronomer, Dr. Avi Loeb, the unusual behavior indicated that the object wasn't an asteroid or a comet. Instead, he proposed an extraordinary hypothesis. Oumuamua was an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Oumuamua was definitely an outlier. And the question is, why would the first interstellar meteor be so unusual? There was a question as to what pushed Oumuamua away from the sun. And my thought was that raises the possibility that it may have been a spacecraft propelled artificially. Oumuamua could possibly have been a probe coming into our solar system the same way we send probes to Jupiter. It came into our solar system, went around the sun, and flew by Earth as if uh, it was a probe looking at us. Intrigued by the possibility that Oumuamua might actually be a probe sent to our solar system by an extraterrestrial civilization, Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb began searching for evidence of other celestial objects moving in a similar fashion. I came across a meteor catalog that the government compiled using its missile warning system. It's called CNEOS. And I asked my student to check if any of those meteors came from outside the solar system. He found that one of them was actually moving at 60 kilometers per second, clearly unbound to the sun. Astronomers determined that this object, like Oumuamua, did in fact originate outside the solar system. This new discovery was first observed by military satellites in January 2014, three years before Oumuamua was identified. But unlike Oumuamua, this object did not pass by the planet, but actually entered Earth's atmosphere and exploded over the Pacific Ocean. The meteor burned up about 100 miles off the coast of Papua New Guinea. 
and it released a few percent of the energy of the Hiroshima bomb when it exploded. From that, we inferred it was about half a meter in size when it exploded. Excited by the discovery, Dr. Loeb closely examined the data captured by the military satellites, and he noticed something extraordinary. The government released data of the explosion, and from that, we inferred that the object must have been tougher than iron. So not only was this object the first interstellar meteor, but it was also tougher than all other meteors detected by the government in that catalog. And that raises the possibility that it may have been a spacecraft propelled artificially and made of some alloy that is much tougher than iron meteorites. To find out, we need to find the material. If we do end up concluding that it was artificial in origin, perhaps a spacecraft, that will have huge implications for the future of humanity.